Hello everybody and welcome to the Throwback Gaming Lobby. Be sure to grab some popcorn, kick back, and enjoy because the lobby is open and that means that it's time for a brand new video. And happy Flashback Friday everybody, we are back at it with The Sims 2 for the DS. I was going to do Rayman's Arena today, but I decided to save that for a bit of a future video, so... We'll do that a bit later. Now, in the last video that we did for The Sims 2, we took care of getting a couple of new rooms for the hotel. And I'm going to go ahead and check in. Hey. Hello, Tom. Just a few messages to pass along. Hey. Just to let you know, Dusty Hog checked out today in a terrible fit and paid only half the bill. Hey. Misty Waters checked out earlier and told me to tell you hello. The bill was paid in full. On Tuesday, Honest Jackson failed to separate his garbage and his recycling. Alright, so yeah, so... On the same day of checkout, if you actually find them, you can try to calm them down. But we have these uh, $3,000 here, so... I'm gonna go ahead and look around. And raise that sanity bar. Oh, sorry. So we got some trash in here we wanna... Oh, no, that's not what I wanna do. I'm gonna go in my pockets and start vacuuming. This isn't really that entertaining, but... Oh, a pretzel. Are there any more dust pals? Oh. Alright, so... I'm just gonna go ahead and raise my sanity, and then once I do that, we'll be able to do the next thing. So, I'm not sure what all that banging is, but definitely a very odd phenomenon going on. Oh. I can check some people in, so I'm going to check him into the deluxe guest room. Great, I need to stay here for a couple of days. Yeah, because I'm looking to keep out of sight for a while. I think I'm going to stay until Saturday, so okay. Uh... Ooh. Another guest. Much appreciated, civilian. I am quite eager to spend a weekend of R&R and &R, R, rest, relaxation, and recon. I will require lodgings until Thursday, so he'll be out tomorrow, then. Yeah, so you get these different situations, and you have to pick the right one, and we kind of covered that. If you pick the wrong one, you lose sanity. Thanks, Tom. I'll try to stay calm from now on. You're the best. Take these five Somalians. I'm serious. Alright, so I'll check him in. It will be a fine stay. I can feel it in my bones. I got a feeling I'll be here until Saturday. And then you gotta pay the bills, otherwise you lose stuff. Oh, so remember at the beginning we ch we chose the uh, the romance aspiration. So this is how you increase your sanity, meaning you can actually get different tiers. So this is just the easiest one that I chose because obviously I think it's the quickest way to imp improve your. Uh, your sanity, and it can actually make you endure the elements longer, so you can stay longer um, without certain things. And once your sanity drops, you pass out, of course, but... I didn't mean to do that. But I'm gonna vacuum again, so... Then we're gonna go back to our missions, and I'll see you guys when I'm done. Alright guys, so we just finished vacuuming, now we have to give Frankie a thousand dollars, if you remember from the last video, so I'm gonna go ahead and go ahead to the penthouse, hopefully he's in there, he is. You got something I need? Hey, this is freaking beautiful, you know that? Money is just the best. Thanks for the cash, kiddo, Jimmy's gonna be real pleased to meet you, I promise. 
I'll see you around. If I have anything else I need, I won't hesitate to call. Right, so we're gonna do a little bit of looking around. Aww. I'm gonna actually go play a round of, uh, what is it called there? Um, what's that game called? The uh, Keelhawen? And then I'll see you guys once I'm done, because I'm going to try to make a little bit more money so I can buy the other uh, hotel room. Okay, guys, so I did two rounds of Keel Hall, and now I'm going to go and I'm going to go buy that other uh, hotel room, because that is probably the best way to make your money in this game. But I'm also going to see what they have at the store. Maybe they have something good, because every now and then they have some cool items. It's raining outside. Picking up a... There's something on my mind, Tom. Come see me as soon as possible. Eh, you can wait a few minutes. It'll be fine. Um, okay. Ooh, a portable waterfall. I can't even afford it, but whatever. It's fine. Uh, ooh, a jellyfish tank. You know what? I'm gonna buy that. Kind of negates the purpose of coming out here, but you know what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll be fine. As I've already stated, you'll be fine. So I'm gonna have to do some more keel hauling and then go... Go by that room, so... Tell me, what is the mayor of Strange... What the mayor of Strangetown is like? Is he a tough man, just honest? His name is honest. That's terrible, poor guy. I'd sure like to introduce myself. I'd like to give him a gift, for purely selfless reasons, I assure you, and I have just the thing here. Could you take this to Mr. Jackson for me? Try not to, try not to dawdle him, whatever you do, don't shake it. Okay, I'm gonna borrow his fridge and eat something real quick. Okay, so I gotta go over the package. But before I do, I'm going to do some more keel hauling, and I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, guys, so coming back in, and we got a call to get a royal ebony bed. Now, usually the items that, like, if you get a call from a guest every now and then, like, they'll ask you to buy something. They'll ask you to buy something. And everything they ask you to buy is always, like, in here. So, how much does that cost? The royal ebony bed is 400 I'm gonna go drop off that little head thing too, so. Should be in here. Yeah, there he is. Oh, and there's also a, a charisma skill point. From Frankie Fusili? Well, I, I don't know what I've done to deserve this honor, but give him my thanks. So, build rooms. So, I can actually, oh, I can buy the room now, nice. Modern guest room, yes, I will build that. So, eight hours, okay. Now I'm gonna go drop this bed off. Oh, well, actually, I need to talk to him anyway. Hey, hey. Honest Jackson wanted to thank me for that gift, that old thing? Ha, huh. what a guy. I may even vote for him next year. I told him that, too. Ah, politics. All right, second floor lobby. So do I have to give it to him? Where is he? Oh, there he is. Let me go cheer him up first. Rotate we'll the camera. Oh, that one's pep talk. Yeah, you always want to, you want to have your guests happy because when they check out, they'll pay the full bill. Sometimes they won't pay like the full one. You're right, Tom. There are no reasons to stay sad for so long. Take this gourd I just found. 
Oh man, I have wanted one of these things for a long time. And you get, you get a little money for it. Not, you know, the amount we paid, but money nonetheless. So, I'm just gonna show you something really quick here because when you have a new room that's being built, you can go in it. But it looks like that and you can't really talk to him, so. But at least we'll have all the rooms done. Well, I think that is actually good for this video. And hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Now, I'm not sure when the next time we might play Sims is because I know this month we were trying to really dedicate a lot of time towards like scary games and all that. But we may check in with them next week and see how all the guests are doing. But make sure you guys leave a like on this video. Hit that subscribe button. And of course, don't forget to stay humble.